days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. So it's like they should be cast out, even as though they were never a part of the family. So we gain sonship. We are indeed the sons of God. But can well, we you can say dead? that you can you cannot be a son. So when can your son and daughter not be your son and daughter? Well, he said, what, do they, and daughter. what can they do for them not to be your son or daughter? They'll be my sons and daughters, but they will be cast out. If you understand what I'm trying to say. There are things that my kids can do up to rejecting, you know, whatever it is that benefit of being a part of my family or being a part of me. They can willfully walk away from it. And there's nothing that I can do about that. I've but already done will all they that still I can be do. your son and your daughter? They will be, but they'll be as though they weren't. Read that scripture yeah. right there. That's John. Here's first John. This is after the redemption. This is after the resurrection of Jesus. Read that for us, uh, uh, Brother Addison. First John started at verse 5, all the way to verse 19. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him we and, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. I, I don't, I don't, Keep reading. Keep reading, sir. Keep reading. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from the from all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, mm -hmm. and his word is not with is not in us. Mm -hmm. So, basically, in accordance with this, if if I sin, yes, which basically, let's just say I committed adultery. Yes, yes you said. So the word is in me. Huh? No. Is the word not in me? If if <laughs> if I cut somebody out, is the word not in me? It means that you, you have. I get it. Yeah, I, I think you transgress the will of God. Get the word in you. We all got growing to do. Yeah. We we growing. We growing. Okay, so then. Glory to glory. But you're growing under grace. You're growing under grace. We everybody who's listening to this video or this tape want to say you are growing under grace. You have not arrived. I have not arrived. I have not. I'm not yet saying that. I have not yet apprehended, but this one thing I do, for getting those press. things which are behind, and I'm pressing forward to those things are before. If my adultery is before me, I got to go ahead and deal with that. I got to press through that. Because you're going to deal with sin. You're going to fall. The righteous fall, but he gets back up. God is, has no problem you get back up. God has given you grace. It's okay. Because you do walk in darkness sometimes. But you come to the light so you can be, remember that, that first John, John 3, 16? Remember he said is that, here it is right here. Look at this, I like this. This is a beautiful uh, scripture. In John 3, 16, but the rest of it I like, we read it before. I'll read from the beginning, 16 to 21. It says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son that whoso believes in him, that's my belief, that's what I believe is the sin, shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, that's the blessing, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay. He that believes on him is not condemned. <laughs> that's critical. But he that believes not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. That light is come into the world and men love darkness 
rather than life. Because what? Their deeds are evil. For everyone that does is evil, hates the light. Neither comes to the light. Lest his deeds should be reproved, corrected, rebuked, right? You and I have chose to come to the light. But he that does his truth comes to the light. Look, that his deeds may be manifest. That they might, that they are what? Roth. Remember we talk about that Roth means? That that's shaping. That that's proved. That's that's that correction we're talking about. That we get molded into the image of God and the image of Christ because we come to the light. That's the blessing between you and somebody that don't believe. You come to God with your deeds exposed. And as our deeds are exposed, he works with us. That's what that Roth means. He works with us. But if we, we can, we're not gonna come into denial of our deeds. We're coming to the fact that Lord, I'm coming to you because that's what my grace, that's what my mercy, that's where everything I need is in you. I got an advocate in heaven sitting beside God called Jesus Christ. And he's making intercession for me daily. Why? Because I need it. I don't know. You you can go that way. And I, I have no problem with deposition. I'm saying is I need that intercession from him. 